All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel to the XRP community. Happy Thursday wherever you are around the world. We got a lot to discuss, so buckle up, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So breaking news. U.S. inflation falls to 2.4%, which is higher than expected. And, you know, a lot of people probably are wondering, what does this really mean? You know, people weren't expecting the number to be this much. Uh, people were expecting, you know, the inflation to be a little bit lower. So in terms of Bitcoin, reaction to Bitcoin, I think it is being impacted based off of this news that's itself. Um, right now, you have seen Bitcoin going below $60,000. Again, you know, a very, very interesting time we're in. Of course, historically speaking, this should be a very uh, bullish time, but we cannot, um, you know, forget the fact that what's really happening for the space, what's happening for the globe. So very, very interesting stuff. Um, and, you know, moving forward, you could see something very, very interesting, which is on topic today's video. SEC commissioner admits their approach to crypto has been a disaster for the whole industry. Yes, you've heard that correct. SEC commissioner admits their approach to crypto has been a disaster for the whole industry. And speaking about that, we know there is a long, long lawsuit that has been going for some time now. And it seems like it's been forever. Uh, and I'm sure anyone that holds XRP is aware of that. But let's take a closer look and see what is happening. Before I do that, as always, just a quick disclaimer for everyone. Anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So looking across the altcoin market, we are seeing quite a bit of red across the board because Bitcoin number one is down 3.5%. And we know when Bitcoin goes down, everything is going to react to that. And we can kind of see that confirmation right in front of us. Now looking at the price of XRP, now you guys are probably wondering what in the world is happening with XRP? Why is it holding so much better than the broader market? It's only down 0.5% sitting at 53 cents and in Bitcoin comparative it's up 3.3%. So what's really going on? We're going to be talking about that. Market cap is at $30 billion and the 24-hour trading volume is at about $1.3 billion. But let's continue to focus on what is really happening. So there we are. Shout out to Stuart. Big, big bombshell. The SEC lost on all key points. That's why they appealed. Today, Ripple filed a cross appeal to ensure nothing's left on the table, including the argument that there can't be an investment contract without there being an essential right and obligations found in a contract. Importantly, the SEC has already said they aren't appealing the ruling that XRP itself isn't a security. They even apologized in another case for just suggesting that the token itself could be a security. That's the law and an appeal on these other issues doesn't change. Last year, the SEC unsuccessfully tried to take an early appeal of the ruling that Ripple's XRP sales on exchanges and Ripple's other XRP distribution like the employees and developers weren't securities. They'll likely go after these again and they will lose on both again. We look forward to the federal court of appeals finally putting a stake in the heart of Gensler's misguided attacks on the industry. Are we seeing a coincidence playing out here? Because look, SEC commissioner admits there approach to crypto has been a disaster for the whole industry are we seeing a correlation playing out right now and could this really you know have a positive impact on this specific lawsuit that we have seen going on way longer than expected to be quite frank with you um, are we about to see that shift really happening let me know in the comments down below because this is a very very interesting thing to be discussing right now and speaking about the ceo brad gerlinghouse has also said something about this as I said earlier this month, if Gensler and the SEC cared about the rule of law, they would accept their loss and move on. Exactly what we've been speaking about. So as thousands of, you know, these XRP community members and, you know, people that are not even in the XRP community members uh, are the ones that are, you know, like saying this is just way too long and it should have been cleared way too long ago. But they are not interested in faithfully applying the law or in providing clarity to the industry players in the U.S. under Chair Gensler. The agency is only interested in creating, hey, buck, U.S. innovation and technology be damaged. 
And why is this happening? Because they see the threat, you know, the likes of these new technology companies like Ripple that bring to the traditional way of doing business. But, you know, they need to understand there's going to come a time where you're going to have to accept the new technology. And speaking about accepting new technology, you're looking at not just regulation coming in, but the acceptance of the blockchain technology around the globe, how much that's happening and how much that's changing. Um, the landscape is shifting. And that is uh, what only a few people understand. With our cross appeal today, we're looking forward to sealing the SEC's fate and finally putting an end to the SEC regulation by enforcement agenda. Ripple was the industry leader in the first go round in court, and we look forward to leading the way in this round as well. Big, big statements, massive statements. You know, this needs to come to an end. Why is it? Uh, why is it that there are some people from the SEC, such as the commissioner, saying that you know they haven't been, uh, you know, fair to the crypto industry, uh, and at the same time you're still seeing this specific lawsuit, you know, being dragged down forever and forever and forever, and that's the question that's being asked within the crypto community. What in the world is taking so long? And you know, beautiful, beautiful move uh, by you know Ripple, really showing that you know they're not here to play around, uh, and really show that you know they're confident um, that they this is completely unfair fair and I think this is going to be a very interesting thing uh, playing out and speaking about the price of XRP you know obviously it reacted to that obviously we're not seeing explosive moves because as soon as this happened you know uh, Bitcoin's price has also seen a drop below 50k there you have it we are sitting uh, below I mean 60k support line for the first time pretty much since September 18th so you know, this could be to the inflation um, numbers that have come out. But, you know, the price of Bitcoin is sitting below 60K. I have said this. If you watch my videos over the course of the past few days, I've been saying, you know, yes, uh, Q4, historically speaking, a very good month. Uh, uh, not only very good month, you are seeing, you know, the broader quarter four to be bullish for the space. But what we're seeing happening right now is elections are next month. Uncertainty is sky high uncertainty is sky high and smart money um you know is aware that you know it could go 50 50 people need to understand that and of course you know people that are either kamala harris uh, you know supporters or you know donald trump supporters they're you know already saying you know this person or that person's gonna win we don't know until of course the day of so that leaves uncertainty on the table which of course um you know in terms of investor confidence it can kind of have a little bit of an impact on that but you're seeing the price of the bitcoin sitting below this key support line xrp holding really really good right now based off of the cross appeal in my opinion uh and really goes to show that you know ripple is confident in, them, in themselves and i do believe this could uh be a very interesting next few months to come and you know ripple swell event is coming up possible rlusd launch uh, could be this month um, and also you know breaks the event there's so much happening around the globe right now but i'm going to keep you guys covered let me know in the comments what you guys think love each and every one of you guys thank you thank you thank you for all your support cannot thank you enough we'll see you tomorrow up in crypto zx and peace out